Hey friends, welcome to Spirit Says So Tarot. It has been a hot minute since I have been online. I've been a little busy, but we're going to go ahead and do the weekly reading for November 7th through November 13th. Spirit, can you please provide divinely guided messages for our beautiful air signs for the week of November 7th through November 13th? What do they need to look out for? What can they look forward to? Any signs they may see? Please provide guidance for the highest good only spirit. Tuesday, we have the King of Cups. So you may be approached for some advice on relationships or a situation for others that are extremely emotional where you have your emotions in check, you are very mature. You're someone that can give guidance and advice. It could also be that you're coming from the weekend off of a very difficult situation. And Monday into Tuesday, you are gaining back your emotional stability. So it could be one of two things. Others could be coming to you the beginning of the week for advice. Or it could be that you are going to need to ground yourself emotionally Monday and Tuesday coming from the weekend if something transpires this weekend for you, which hopefully nothing major happens, only good things. Wednesday into Thursday brings you the Eight of Swords. So in the middle of the week, you are going to be feeling somewhat bound I don't like to use the word trapped, but I feel like you're going to be caught up into something that you're going to have to think your way out of, or you're just going to have to come up with a plan for the future to start releasing some of these so you can get yourself back out there. Maybe you've been a recluse for a little bit. Maybe things that has happened or will happen this weekend that's transpiring into the beginning of the week is just going to make you think about what has happened and you're going to be a little bit leery about moving forward. That's kind of how, I, how I'm feeling about this. Something's going to be holding you back in the middle of the week. So Thursday, or I'm sorry, Friday into the weekend, we have the Four of Staves, which is the Four of Wands. So you're going to be celebrating coming into the week. So maybe this is planning and you, you're you planning something and you've gotten into like a writer's block type of a deal. You just can't see yourself moving forward in the middle of the week. But by the end of the week, you're going to be celebrating or someone's going to be celebrating around you. I almost feel like with this card, where this is a, this is known as the wedding card, I almost feel though that a new relationship may start. And that could be what all this is about, my beautiful air signs. Maybe this weekend you're going to be experiencing something that isn't going to make you feel warm and fuzzy. You're going to have your emotions all tore up. But then Monday and Tuesday, you're going to be collective again with all of your emotions. Everything's going to be in check. You're going to be doing fine. And then the middle of the week, you might be affected mentally by 
what's happened. So your emotions are in check, but now you're affected mentally. And usually when something happens, it does go in stages. So that's not unrealistic. But then I think that by the next weekend, you're gonna be feeling on top of the world again. You might even be feeling some love come in, but you're gonna be happy by the end of the week, by the time it is all said and done, my beautiful air signs. So I certainly hope that this is helpful and that you're able to watch out for something that could create an emotional upheaval for you. And maybe by the middle of the week, you'll have it figured out and you won't be all bound up like this is suggesting. But whatever happens, I certainly hope that it happens for the best for you and yours. And until next week, you all take care. Bye.